Hi guys, in this episode of Ready K, I am really excited to be checking out 17's new comeback, Super. After the last comeback, which I believe was with the song Hot, and then checking out that whole album, if I remember correctly, it was really fun, debatably the best 17 album, at least from my experience it was uh, the best 17 album. I really enjoyed it, I loved all the songs uh, in it, it was great. Um, after all of that, I'm now really excited to, to be checking out their newest compact. Um, and potentially we'll also be checking out the B-sides, although for this uh, particular reaction, we're obviously just going to be checking out the title track. And depending on how I feel about it, we might uh, get into the B-sides uh, in another video sooner rather than later. But it, it's still probably going to be a little bit more until that... Uh, compared to the last time we did it. Uh, so if you guys want me to react to the b-sides of this album, just like you did for the last one, definitely let me know in the comments down below that you want to see a reaction like that. Or even better, go through my Patreon or Coffee account, because over there, there is a specific tire if you, uh, to which if you subscribe, you get to demand me to do K-pop reactions as soon as I see your request over there. But yeah. Um, I think that's all I have to cover, so without further ado, let's get into this song and see how I'm gonna feel about it. Am I gonna love it? Am I gonna be lukewarm at best about it? There's only one way to find out, so without further ado, let's get into 17 Super in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> They've got like 4 million pre-orders for this album from what I learned, which is insane. It's insane how much album sales have like exploded for pretty much every group. Okay, I'm liking the sound of this one so far. Wait, is that Jonghan? Okay, this is a little bit of a different song for them. This reminds me a lot of the 80s. This is definitely an anthem. And also I think this is the first time I've actually been able to like notice the different members of like 17 as individuals. Like they've never stood out one from the other before as much as they do in this music video. Oh, this part here hits hard, for sure. I always love when K-pop groups splash some uh, Korean influences to, to their songs and music videos, man. It's so cool. Dude, I feel like I'm gonna be such a big fan of this song in the long term. I mean, I'm already a fan, but it's gonna grow on me so much. I just know it. Because it's such an anthem song, which is the kind of songs that I love the most. Dude, 
Dude, this is like a fucking award show performance or something. Like, I assume some of you guys have seen the uh, victory song performance that Stray Kids did uh, when they announced, or whatever you want to call it, that they were going to be on, like, Kingdom, the, the show. Like, you know that, like, sick, amazing performance that they did there? That felt like a fucking uh, insane concert. Like, it was awesome. This is the kind of vibe that I'm getting from this. From the camera work, which is very similar. Shot from the top, making this like a big event. I love that. It's so cool to see. But this is also, like, in general, such a hard-hitting song. Very anthem very 4-gen, very 80s and straight kids uh, reminiscent. And I love it for it. I love it. But it also still obviously has the 17 flavor to it. So it's not like they're copying them or anything. They're just doing a similar style. Which I love. I love that. And I, th I think they killed it. They, they didn't just kill it. They completely obliterated it from this plane of existence. And I love it. And the way that they've built the song is honestly to, to make it hit as hard as possible. Because right before... The hard hitting parts, they kind of low you in a, into a false sense of the security with like kind of like a chill chorus, which I was about to complain about when we were first getting into it, that it felt very boring and uninteresting. But then you get into the explosive part of it where it goes, I love my team, I love my crew, which is really, really sick. And I love that kind of lyrics kind of showing their camaraderie and friendship in their song. Like, it's really, really good. Like, sure, still, I'm a, f a far bigger fan of the more distinct 17 sound that they had in third gen, like Don't Wanna Cry, uh, Thanks, and other stuff like that. And I feel like this is one of their title tracks that is the least like them. And I feel like I already felt like that for Hot, so it's not like this is new ground they're breaking in that regard. But... I still think it sounds like 17, it still has that flavor to it. I just feel like I, I'm still a much bigger fan of their third gen sound than what they've been doing in the fourth gen. But to be honest, that is the case for pretty much every third gen group, except the ones who have actually completely rebranded into new groups like Divis, who used to be G Friend, obviously, and now. The only three members of them are Vivis, but they still are enjoyable as the group that they are right now because it's a completely rebrand and a completely different chemistry between the members uh, compared to when, when they were different. But for groups like Seventeen, who were a big part of the third gen, I still kind of dig the kind of sound that they had back then compared to now more, but I still enjoy it and I th still think they're killing it. And part of it is definitely nostalgia that I enjoy some of those songs more, but I just like the sound of the third generation more as well in general. I'm getting sidetracked. The point is, really cool song, really impactful. I like the music video, like I said, because it makes it feel like a very cool performance, but it kind of feels like this is not, makes it feel like this is not like a proper comeback, or at least this is not supposed to be the tower track. And instead, it's like an additional performance music video, which... As far as I know, it's not the case, so... I don't know, it's kind of weird. Usually I feel like their music videos typically have like more... Uh, completely random shots of the members, and it's never really like a performance like this. Like, the only ones that I can think of that is even remotely like that is like, Don't Wanna Cry, but even that one I'm pretty sure had a lot of like random member shots. Like you would typically see in K-pop, whereas this is shot like a... Perf like a, a, a like an award show performance or something. So that would be sick to see uh, at an award show. But yeah, I'm just really excited to get into it again. So without further ado, let's get into 17 Super in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, look at this giant shot. Like this is sh shot like a performance at, a, like at, a, at an award show. Wow, 
Ooh, I love this part so much, man. That darondaringa sounds so catchy. Is that Jonghan? I can't tell. I'm not really super familiar with the members, but it looks like him. Since when does he rap? Dude, this is so good. But I feel like it's genuinely like gonna grow on me long term even more. Like for me this is already like a 9.5 based on how it is right now. But I feel like it's gonna grow on me so much more as well. Cause usually when I react to stuff, I feel like I'm overtly harsh compared to how I actually truly feel about it. And I don't know why it's like that, but it is how I, I feel, you know? I love the choreo as well. I'll give you this, 17 is never boring. I'm definitely curious to be checking out the b-sides, but I don't have the time or patience to do it today, so you guys are gonna have to wait a little bit. And like I said, if you want to see it sooner or later, go to my Patreon. Okay, so that was 17 Super, and it's definitely a super good song. I definitely like it a lot. I, I'm i not sure whether I want to give it full 10 out of 10, though. Because I really, really enjoy it. I think it's really catchy. I think it's really memorable. I think the performance... It's a fun, fun song. But I feel like... I have a little bit of a nitpick for it where I feel like it's kind of repetitive and it doesn't really switch it up in any way shape or form throughout the whole song which I feel like long term would be kind of a detriment to the song because it's gonna start getting all quicker than if it was kind of switching it up here and uh, there but again it's a nitpick and I just love how energetic and impactful and how hard hitting it is so I'm you know what I'm gonna stick with a 10 out of 10 even if it's kind of like a little bit of a flimsy one it's still a 10 out of 10 it was really good really catchy really memorable really fun and i loved it and once again i'll remind you i do have an interest to check out the b-sides of this album if you want to see it sooner either comment in the comments and let me know that there's a big demand for a reaction like this or go through my patreon and coffee account because subscribing over there at the specific tire and requesting me to do the reaction will make me do it as soon as you do that you know Otherwise, you have to wait until I feel like it, which is probably going to be maybe a couple weeks from now, but it's going to be one of the next few things uh, that I'm going to do, despite the fact that it's not on my schedule, really. Because I kind of completely forgot about the fact that I checked out their B-sides last time, and I enjoyed it a lot. So, there's that. I am curious, though, what do you guys think about this comeback? Comment on down below and let's have a discussion about this. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently four patrons on Patreon. Omar Bridgman, Deadpool, Corby Dead, and 
Andrew. Thank you guys for your support. I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me. You have decided to support me and you have continued to support me for such a long time. Hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do a like, subscribe. Also, check out the link in the description to my WhatsApp where I post my stories. Because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my Coffee account where I can pledge your support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do any of that, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!